creations today I am going to be sculpting something amazing or not so that red apple there is a decorative item that I was actually able to get for free I um, was at uh, Michael's which is a craft store um, if you're not in the United States so uh, that's what it is um, and so I was like, hey, I found this apple and and uh, there's no price tag on it. And uh, they said, here, you can you can have it. And so uh, I was pretty, pretty surprised and pretty, pretty thrilled about that. Considering that one of the items I picked up that had a price tag was like broken. And and so I just kind of like when I was in the store, I looked around and I saw the clearance section and I just kept looking and looking through all the different stuff I could find. And I found some items that will appear later in the videos. Um, so <laughs> what's really funny, what's, what's really funny is I saw that apple and I was like, hmm, no price tag. Oh, this, 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 I could make something out of this. And it started making, it started to make me think what it could become. Like what, I had an idea in my head of what I wanted to make. But, uh, you know, usually when I sit down, I just like to just sculpt, not even have a plan, just sculpt something. So, um, you know, this time I just kind of sat down kind of had a rough idea what I wanted to do but uh, nothing specific. All I knew that I, want, I wanted, I wanted to have it have legs and eyes, and that's it. So, um, you know, my favorite material that I like to use is Epoxy Sculpt by Aves. And uh, so I'm just uh, gonna sculpt something. Now, in about a minute, we're gonna go into Super Hyperdrive. Uh, we're already in super hyperdrive sorry uh, so otherwise it would be a two hour video and I'm pretty sure no one has time for that um, as you can see I marked the place where I wanted to have eyes uh, now as I said I like to just kind of uh, go moment to moment when I sculpt and uh, while I was doing this I had an idea and you'll see where it goes. Not really what I wanted, but I definitely have learned from now on that I def definitely want to start sculpting with a purpose, with an actual design ahead. So this moment forward, I probably will not do uh, random sculpts like this. But I really hope that you enjoy this one. If if I do do random sculpts, it'll probably be um, from now on. I'm probably just going to uh, do about maybe one part of it on, or I'll probably record half of it, upload it, record the second half, and then upload it into two short parts. So that way it won't look super fast like this um you know there's nothing wrong with it going super fast like this it's just uh um it's a little a little jaunting um but uh this time you know why I, I learned give me a comment down below if, if you think this is too fast or if it's too slow because apparently i can go faster so yeah um, also, give me a comment below what you would like me to sculpt next. Um, I was thinking of doing a series called I Saw It On TV, Let's Sculpt It. Um, I ha I, um, that's an idea I have. Uh, another idea I have is um, I have more items like this apple. Um, that is, uh, let's transform this from this to that. Um, so yeah, go ahead and give me, uh, give me a message below and just tell me what you think and what you would like to see in the channel. And, um, and I definitely would like to get some input, you know, currently I'm just finding what works, what doesn't work and, and so on and so forth. So yeah.
So as you can see, I put the eyes on there and I just was like, I, I knew I needed to get some eyes quickly and I just wanted to pick something that looked a little different than what I've chosen in the past for eyes. And what I mean chosen in the past, I mean things that I've used like on my inst that I've shown on my Instagram and in my last sculpting video, I like the slime, which was the first one. If you haven't seen that one, go back and give it a give it a check uh, look and see see what was there. Because once I reach uh, 100 subscribers, or yeah, once I reach 100 subscribers, I'll be giving that away. I'll even be painting it. I will be uh, oh yeah, I'll be painting it, and then uh, I'll be sending it to someone. So that's pretty cool. So now. When I was trying to make the mouth, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna give it teeth, but it just didn't quite look the way I wanted it to. So I scrapped it and then did something different. I actually had a little bit of trouble with the mouth. I had I, I kept um, not liking it, and then eventually I just kind of like made it into something that I kind of liked. So, as I said earlier, I just kind of go moment to moment when I sculpt and try to make things look as symmetrical as possible. But honestly, I think asymmetrical is the best. So, um, I find this, I find sculpting very oddly stimulating in my life. It gives me a little bit of vigor and, uh, it really amps me up. And, uh, after I sculpt, I usually can't sleep for another two, three hours, which is pretty fun. So after this video, I'll be not sculpting in the color green anymore, which um, green has been a fun run. I believe my color of choice next will be, you got to watch the next video. So now I am sculpting on the body and um, you know I thought oh my god I really want to try to turn this guy into kind of a like a turtle guy and so I started making him a shell and um, and, it, and I think it worked out pretty well. Um, it definitely was a little bit of a struggle trying to make sure that it was kind of more like a, a symmetrical Tur turtle shell shell shape um, I did have to go back and fix it a few times because my finger kept running over it which um, wasn't bad it wasn't bad I um, also <laughs> tried to do something with a half of a ping pong ball which did not work as you can see um, yeah one of my goals when I sculpt is to try to find shortcuts that allow me to uh, make things lighter using the the material using using the epoxy sculpt so I was uh, one day I was I was walking around a store and I was like, hey, let me try ping pong balls. So I went online and ordered a bunch and I just wanted to find the cheapest ones I could find and can, and get like 50 to 100 and see what I can do with them. And uh, that'll be a future video.
sculpting the feet was was interesting because um, I kept having uh, about this time I was running close to when the epoxy sculpt was getting a little bit more harder harder to do more like fine detail and it wasn't being as um, easy to work with as when the first 30 minutes after you sculpt it so I had to kind of maneuver a little bit more and that's why I like the one of the legs doesn't look the same but uh, I still think they both came out pretty well so. and I had a little bit of epoxy sculpt left so I went ahead and gave it a tail And what I was using, what I what I did was I um, I just took some like uh, like um, kind of like a waxy like lip balm kind of like uh, material, and then I just rubbed rubbed it on the the little bit of clear plastic uh, acrylic to make sure that like the epoxy skull doesn't stick to it, and then so that way I can take it off. And uh, now I'm sculpting the hands. And this was fun because I tried a different way than I did on another pr project I did with Epoxy Sculpt. And uh, this one was not as successful as I hoped, but I definitely learned that uh, I need to make sure that I have the, the arms away from the hands or away from the head or face in order to sculpt the hands. If I need the hands to be on the face or near the like near the face or on the head or wherever, I need to sculpt it differently. Thank you for watching.